No, no, it's a good game. No, the sad robots are a good game. But this is also very high up there. I also really fucking like Planescape Torment for some reason. I could never get through it. It was... Oh, it plays like trash! Yeah, like, I didn't play it at the time. So I think uh, I, I missed out. Years later, it's just I was able to get into it because that was a time where I was able to get into sort of, like, really awful playing games. That's fair. I had a much higher patience and tolerance than I do now. <laughs> Anyway, look what we're doing. A waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. This song's really good. Uh, the music in this game is, yeah, really fucking good. Uh, I may have the soundtrack. Uh, hopefully my audio balance is okay. Um, if not, then may yell at me. Um... It's hard for me to tell yeah, okay. because I am watching on the side stream where there is no choice. Yeah. Let's go listen to this. This game uses an autosave function. Uh, uh, music yes, a bit loud, Jerry. Music's a bit loud. Yeah. Okay. I think this game uses an autosave function and it uses it aggressively. <laughs> Oh, that's because everything does... is to a hundred. Yeah. yeah. Though it always helps to uh, throw down a manual save every now and again because it's super easy. Do 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 do. do. So let's turn all these to fifty. Also, I'm glad Chitlin asked a dumb question. Now he's getting dumb answers. Oh, what's the dumb question? What's that? <laughs> What's what? And so just people in my Dragon's Dogma, and so people in my fucking Discord are just quoting the fucking game at him. How? Oh, save change. Stop. I'm also, gonna... I hope you like fake British accents. I listen. I play. I hope fi you really oh. like fake British accents. Listen, <laughs> I play Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh god. It's gonna be fine. Okay, but they're going to be chitting, chittering in your ear constantly with That's fake fine. British accents. Um, so is there any of these that I will have to have off? I've turned... Uh, one of the pieces of advice I've heard about this game is to set your pawns to friends only. Otherwise, you will end up with like really overpowered pawns. And because things scale with level, it will mess you uh, up. No... Okay. Uh, main pawn online access, uh, specifically, uh, it means that other who can access your pawn. Okay. Uh, so that's fine to have set globally because it just means you're gonna get more shit for your pawn if people like him. Also, Which, um, you may notice. I can... Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say there's a guaranteed way to get people to download your pawn, but it's skeezy. Excellent. Oh. Uh, for some reason, people online really like young girls. Yay! <laughs> uh, so is, is there any way to view the cutscenes? Uh, no, there is not. Right, because I already made my character. Oh well, just that. Uh, I mean, really, it's just you get fucked up by a dragon and have your heart torn out. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Uh, I made my You're just I made my character to avoid, you know, 3 hours of character creation on stream. Yep. Uh, and basically the opening is that you're some random asshole at a fishing village. Uh, the dragon falls out of the sky with a shitload of monsters. Attacks the village. You're the only one who tries to stand up to it, so he fucking murders you and takes out your heart and starts taunting you. Yay! He's also one of my favorite characters in the game. So I already made my character and chose my class. I am a Strider, which I'm told is a rogue. Uh, mm -hmm. This is my girl. She's named after my first D and D character. And uh, fun fact: height and weight make a difference. Don't know if I mentioned that. Oh. 
yeah, they determine uh, basically how quickly your stamina drains, uh, okay. and also your equip load and your various equip thresholds. Okay. I think so I your carry weight, your various carry threshold, I should say. Well, a thing I like to do is I like to make characters that look like they would have the jobs that I pick for them. If that makes sense. You also, you also make characters very small. Yeah, I also make. That's your weird thing. I, I mean, <laughs> I love the physics. I, 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 I enjoy just doing whatever the fuck with my characters. So like my my fucking magic bow person was a goddamn Amazon, while my uh. My, my warrior, who are folks who just deal a shit ton of damage and wield giant swords, was this tiny lady. The horror of it. The Chris horror Pina. of it. Yeah. She also went sword and board, too. And once again, was just this tiny tank. Sneaking. You fucking ruined shit. It's a sneaking mission. Because there's <laughs> a weird secret to sword and board pawns. You say it's left a glowing scar? Does it make them busted? Uh, it makes them perfect guard all the fucking time. Excellent. Because this Can't game see any does have guard timings. And it's actually relevant to one of the classes. The voice is maybe too low. So, chat yell at me. only we'd have checked this first. Also, I hope you really like the word art. I mean, I played two worlds. I learned to love the word taint. Ah, <laughs> uh, gooch. You can take that quote to the bank. <laughs> yeah, you you went too far the other way with the game audio, Joey. Okay. Uh, no, you see, this game uses art and art a lot, and, uh, one, one day... Someone made the mistake. Actually, the, the woman who would later go on to be my, my girlfriend uh, made the mistake of saying that the word ought really annoys her. So me being the piece of shit that I am, I learned to use the words ought and not in a night and just used it for fucking hours, inserting them into every sentence I said. You're a bad person. I am a very bad person. This is what friendship with Topo is like. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I mean... There was also the time a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, made the mistake of telling me one night that making puns is hard, so for the next six hours, I just made a pun off of everything he fucking said. Because I'm garbage. I want this. Why would you not do that? Give me this. Joey, why are you just looting your own house? It's not my house, it's... Nah, uh, this is Kina's, yeah. Anyway... This is, this is the head of the village. Uh, and his daughter, this is their place. Okay. Yeah, give me that bucket. Give me that broom. I'm telling you now, picking up everything is a bad idea. But what about ah, this? These nut. nuts. I gotta have Behold. these nuts. Ah. Okay, I don't want a ceramic jug. Oh, I do want that pie though. Look at that pie. Fucking eat that pie. Fuck you, jug. Go away. Uh, so food is useful in this game. It regenerates health and stamina, depending. Just like in real life. Yeah. Who the fuck? Yeah. Oh, Though the, the later <laughs> potions will be much more useful. Uh, also, every item in this game generally serves a purpose. So, like, even if you took that ceramic jug, it would be useful for something. I can't tell you what, but it would be useful for something. Okay, now that we've raided this house and stood on all but the chairs. It, it's not like the Elder Scrolls where you can just pick up anything that's not nailed down. You should be a bed. I wish you'd like uh, so, Kina, the character who has the longest hair of any character in the game. Except me. Does she get the animating hair command? sucks? Hmm? Does she get the eat command and learn frog drop? What? Final Fantasy Nine. Uh, okay. This place is nice looking. 
I mean, it's, it's just a humble fishing village. Actually, could you... Do you have the, the everlasting fairy stone or whatever it is? The what now? Uh, in your inventory. Actually, no, you probably have to talk to the, uh... The man at the inn. Uh, where is... I... I how do I access my inventory? Hit the back button, went, go out and just hit Oh, the back right, button. yeah. It takes some getting used to, but it, it's it's a lot easier to do things on the fly this way. I have a pie, oil, lantern. Mm-hmm. And oil is your best friend. Papyrus. Book it. God, just look at all this crap. Ah, yes, a plebeian shirt. Perfect. Can I wear that? Oh no, that, that okay, that, those are my old clothes. Okay. Uh, so gear is the most important thing in this game. I just love how far these jugs fly when you attack them. Oh, the physics in this game are a lot of fun. Ooh. It nutted on me. A nut. Uh, also... Look at this. This is pretty. Yeah, also if you look down you should be able to... There should be a ledge you could probably jump onto. Off to your left. Oh yeah, so... Yeah. I have the fucking maps memorized. I have a problem. <laughs> hey, everybody's got their brain thing. Yeah, well, problem is it's always like that for me in games I really enjoy. Uh... Yeah, if you jump down to that little bit of green below you, uh, there should be a little cave. Wee. So th this game is actually really nice because it rewards you for doing dumb shit and platforming like an idiot. I like that kind of game. Uh, and the platforming in this game feels oh, I really see the good. Cave. Yeah. Come on, you can do it, lady. There we go. Like the platforming actually genuinely feels really good in this game. Uh, and they reward you for platforming to places you wouldn't normally think to go. Ooh. Though you don't need to go there. What am I gathering here? You're looting a grave, you sick fuck. Oh. <laughs> uh, also, on the cliff you were up at, there should have been some chests too. Oh. But that's neither here nor there. Just explore the village and have fun. Eh. I can't. Eh. I can't Skyrim back up the mountain, can I? Yeah, and you don't have the double jump yet. Oh, I I got a rock somehow. Oh uh, no, you're standing on top of it, and if you hit B, you'll pick it up. Oh, give me that rock. A rock. Okay, okay I'll be back. Yeah. Okay, I can get back uh, here, can't I? Yeah. And yeah, you can get back up there just fine, and also. Uh, fall damage in this game is pretty generous, though when you hit it, you fucking hit it. Uh, though the fall animation when you hit the ground is really funny. Bubs. You can shoot the birds. I don't want to shoot the bubs. You're going to need to shoot the birds. Also, if you shoot those fish, uh, they'll... I, I think you can kill them. Oh, okay. How do I use my bow? Uh, you hold L. Hold L. Left trigger. Left trigger, left trigger. Uh, is it? Uh, oh, no, 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 the left bumper, I should say, I think. Left bumper. Nope. Oh, left button. Right bumper. I see. And then you just pull the trigger. Oh. Nope. So my memory failed me. Wait, do you have ammunition? Is this one of those games that no, has ammunition? No, 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 no. Okay. No. Uh, there's only ammunition for special ammo types. Okay. Let me just phase through this boat. And then there's never really a time where you particularly need the special ammo types, though one of them makes one thing really funny. I'm gonna stand on these fish. Ruin your food supply. You disgust me. This is just a humble fishing village, and you're fucking There's up their food supply. Emerging from the shadows all along the shore, nasty things too. The brine, they call them. They say they're many, 
No, this is basically the game hand waving that yeah, you can't swim. Not to do, but avoid the water's edge. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Also, that is a fucking understatement as to how this weird ass backwards affinity system works. <laughs> Uh, basically by talking and interacting with people, uh, they'll like you more. Uh, you don't even need to give them anything, but giving them stuff increases their affinity even more. Uh, and over time they'll like you more, and if they like you enough, they'll get a pink aura, and then... Weird shit can happen. I see. Weird shit not like you fucking them, but weird shit plot-wise. The this isn't where I was. Nope, you'd have to go farther up. Yeah, it's this away, I think. Uh, so what's really good, say, if you there's an innkeeper you talk to a lot, he will eventually fall in love with you. Uh, and it makes things really awkward. I bet. So what you do then is you keep taking out your knives in front of them, putting them away, taking them out again, over and over, until they don't love you anymore. Um? Because people don't like it when you unsheath your weapon in front of them. This game is weird. It's a really weird game. Part I, of why I love it. I'm just carrying a work just table around. You picked now. up an entire fucking work table and shoved it in your pocket. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I just have a table in my pocket now. Now the pocket table. Whoop. Yeah. You monster. Okay, so that's the only chest I can see. Uh, also, you were right by the, the the cliff you could jump down onto again. Oh, yeah. Because that's where you would want to go, and if you follow it around, uh, you should find a chest. Okay. Aha! Well, there's three! Mm-hmm. Seeker's token. Uh, do not worry about those ever. Flamica. That look, seems like a crafting ingredient. It is. Conqueror's periapt. Uh, periaps are buff items. Nice. Isn't this pretty? It is. It's a nice looking game. Like, I, I have mean, this it's... on the highest settings because I can. Yep. Is it looking no, okay very... on the stream, by the way? I mean, the side stream's looking fine, so it should be even better on the main. It's also running at 60 FPS, which I may need to turn down, because uh, 60 FPS has a habit of making me motion sick. Whoa! Okay. Yup. I fell off a cliff and fucking died. So we've hit an issue, actually. You're fucking dead. Uh, do <laughs> not do from last checkpoint. Do not do return to telescreen. Just hit retry. Do. Okay. Uh, cause last checkpoint means the last proper autosave, which is kinda wongy. Okay. So this is before I got any of the chests. Uh, I don't know if it is or isn't. Yeah, cause it's giving me that tutorial again. Oh, okay. Well, and yeah, it's before you got the chest and looted the grave. So after you looted the house, you fuck. Yeah, cause we don't have that table anymore. <laughs> Yeah. We don't just have an entire table. One whole table. Sh shove it in your pocket. Okay. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Officer, my work table's missing. What do you mean your table? The entire table's gone! Somebody stole my entire work table. A fiend. Okay. Now let's do this carefully instead of just throwing ourselves off a cliff like an idiot. Although, yeah, you are right, that animation is pretty funny. When you slap the ground real hard, it's a weirdly satisfying noise, Not too. Rock. Also, this is one of the two large settlements in the game. Yeah, remember like the big city area that May got lost in? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. 
Oh, just hit the back button when you hit start. Oh, just press start and then back? Yep. Neat. Is it, yeah, it, it's a nice little time saving thing they put in. Burbs. Shoot the burb. Okay. Also, there's. Se ah! <laughs> Never had that happen before. Wait, I shot a bird and got a fish? Uh, I mean, it was inside its stomach, I guess. Birds aren't fish. Okay, but it's no worse than, like, uh, Breath of the Wild when you when you kill the Hinox or whatever the hell it's called. And just food drops onto the ground. Oh, I can gather fish. Yep. Yeah. Uh, also, you are now wet. That is an actual status effect in this game. Oh. Uh, and it's notable for one thing, and that's being an absolute pain in your ass. Okay. Because uh, it puts out your lantern. Look at this, it's so pretty. Mm-hmm. So is there a way to get on wet, or is it just time? Uh, you dry off, but also if you have, like, uh, towels with you, you can fix it. Makes sense. Who are you? Yeah, no, like, all, all the you? fixes in this game make sense. Walking about, cousin. Uh, another thing I like about this game is that all of the status, uh, status effects have multiple cures. Like, there's redundancy, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's a more, I guess you could call it immersive kind of thing. Yeah, like, I can see myself getting quite absorbed in this. <laughs> I keep going to press A instead of B to speak to people, so I just jump at them. Maybe that I mean, is incorrect. Maybe they're just used to that at this point. Oh, who are you? Uh, yeah, green question mark means they have a quest for you to do. Because I need a favor. Can you fetch the flowers I need from her? I need more of the one you see there. And one other sort besides. The more you can find, the better. Okay. okay. Also, most of the quests you get won't even be from other people. But all the ones from people have their own little storylines. A wounded need medicine, cousin. The mixture calls for two types of flowers. Why like, can't you just together, tell me? I ask you this favor because I trust you, good Fisher. I know. Now, if you look at your quest log, it should tell you what you need. Uh, is there a quick way to get to the quest log? Which is start and then hit on the left. Quest. Some bright and moon glow. Okay. Uh, it should be obvious when you get those. Well, she said it's from outside the village. Uh, yeah, outside the village you get sun bright during the day and moon glow during the night. Okay. Uh, actually you might want to turn around and go to the inn. Oh, hold on, I've got to watch a cutscene first. Oh, a cutscene. It's your boy, Rook. With his amazing facial hair. Um? But what's so confusing? That man you are speaking with, he's of the Pawn Legion. This man's arms look like beef jerky. <laughs> they come from some unknown place. Just appear without a word. Just all upper arm. Like when he's gesturing, it's fine, but when he folds his arms, it just looks like like wrinkly chicken wings. Not Delicious. Quite. There, look. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will, the spark. Oh no, I think they, they died. No capacity to feel oh, no. nor act alone. Rip and piss. So they live as cell sorts. Myrmidons, they're called. There's an encampment west of the village where men gathered, I'd wager, a fair number. Why don't you take him? Might be you learn out of why he came to you. Before leaving, visit the store to make sure you've ample supplies. 
So he's just following me now. Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, uh, Pawn and... AI is actually pretty good in the way it works is really interesting, but I'll expand on that later. We'll not find sunlight except by day. Thanks. Are your travel preparations complete? Whoops. As you pick flowers for her. Behold, tiny human! Cautious chasm. The monsters grow bolder by night. If you must, I do not fancy the thought of you going off. If you come by the inn, you can always rest until. You... What can I do you for? Okay. Gotta manage sword items. Oh, okay. Uh, cause the PC version lets you have some free shit right up front. The... If you come by, what can I do you for? Manage sword items. Withdraw. Oh. Lift stone? Uh, don't worry about lift stone. Oh, you don't have an eternal fairy stone. Mm. Friend luring incense? Fiend luring incense. Do oh, not worry about that for friend. a long fucking time. Uh, tiara of enlightenment. Ruminator's monocle. Jester's cap. Mm -hmm. This is all just free uh, gear that was originally DLC. Vagabond armor. Mm-hmm. The lion's spine. And it wouldn't hate, hurt to take some of these out and equip them. Because uh, they're probably better than what you got. Diarist ring feels like it's something uh, I should have. I was say, if you hit X, you can look at the details uh, of oh. various items. Uh, and in the lower right, you'll see uh, like what classes can equip it. Or in this case, listing under the vocation heading. Okay, so I should probably take the cloth, huh? Um, I think the Vagabond armor might be better for you, but I could be wrong. Because you can equip either, so it's just whatever one... I'm gonna take that one, because it looks nicer. Let's see, what's this? Okay, it's not friend luring incense. No, it's fiend luring incense, and it's useful in a post-game area. Okay, let's... Could you check your inventory super quick? I want to see if you have a certain item. Uh, just keep going up and I'll see it. Oh, weird. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't take the uh, the lion thing. I completely forgot about that. Also, I look real stupid now. Uh, you will always look stupid. Okay. Yeah, let me take the. Uh... Oh God damn it! Hello, tiny man. As you will. As you will. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the item I was thinking of uh, isn't available yet. Okay, dope. So are they daggers or? As you will. What can I do you for? No, the item I was thinking of. No, the lion thing that I. Uh, no, it's an arm. It, it, yeah, it's gauntlet. Oh! Nice! Oh, that looks rad! <laughs> look at that! Look at, look at that amazing scar, too. Mm-hmm. Seems a fair place to rest. Yep, all Arisen have that scar on their chest from where the dragon took out their fucking heart. Yep. Rook, are you uh, okay? Do not worry about that chair. What what chair? There, there's a special chair you can sit in, uh, but that will not be relevant to you until you get your own pawn. Otherwise, it's just a fancy looking chair. Well, I don't know why you're telling me to dash right now, but okay. Uh, because you're clearly stealing food from the inn. I w I stole a plant. It was an herb. Spice! Okay.
I'm liking this so far. <laughs> Uh, combat in this game is pretty straightforward, but it feels pretty good, personally. I, I know. Okay, Rook, but where you, are you need going? to know. Uh, he's just being... Uh, so, Rook is trying to show you the way to the next plot point, because that's what he does. I guess. Can't believe you're going to shoot a bunny, you sick fuck. Okay, so we're looking Don't worry for though, because there's a quest to play like 50 bunnies. Also, yes, let's appreciate the environment. It's very pretty here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something's flashing. It's a gathering point. Oh. Uh, and pawns will straight up loot shit, so don't worry too much. Oh, I got kindling. Are, are you having fun there, Rook? <laughs> Look, he doesn't get out often, alright? Hi, bunny. Bye, bunny. Okay, so I gotta find some stupid flowers. Mm hmm. I imagine they're not too far. Yeah, no, you can find them all around here. Yeah! God, why must you destroy everything, you monster? Why do I have this? Just leave it to the Arisena, no respect for property. Okay, so he actually gave me some useful advice. Aha! Hi, bunnies. What? Where? Uh, just off in the distance. Oh, there the, he is. Don't worry about it. Uh, also, if you hold, I think, the right bumper, you can choose from uh, skills you have. Oh, oops. I picked also, up Also, you can pick up most anything. Uh, which is nice when facing human enemies and grabbing them and hurling them off a cliff, repeatedly. Because anything you hurl into the water dies instantly. Oh, where is this man that was being... He's there? along the road. So if you follow the road, you find him. Shut up! And uh, don't forget you can sprint. Yeah. It's true, goblins ill like fire, and you will learn that lesson over and over and over and over. Also, wolves run in packs. Mm -hmm. No, but yeah, I think it's right bumper that lets you see your your abilities for this weapon. Uh, oh. Scarlet kisses. Uh, yes, that is stab a lot. It sure is. You're not gonna say anything? Okay. Sure. Wait. Gotta dispose of the evidence. A lot of evidence to dispose of. Maybe one day you'll master rock. Also, you're gonna throw that onto the sand monster. <laughs> Just lightly put it down. <laughs> uh, also, you can grab Brook and throw him. Why would I do that? Because it's funny. Yeah. Why the hell else? Engage in petty property destruction with me, friend. Oh, hey, this is a rock. Anarchy! Okay. So why was this- why- why did I pick up this glowy rock? Uh, that just meant you could pick it up. Oh. Uh, also you can throw it at enemies and it will deal damage. I bet.
Okay, now back to the tree. What of the flower hunt monster? We mustn't keep her waiting. I literally just picked up a flower, dude. Uh, is that all of them that I need? Yeah, I think it might be. Let's check. Okay, so we need two more. So, friend poorly written novel told me that this might not be a game for me and so far he is wrong. Okay, well you take care of that, I'll do this. Where's this goblin? Oh, there it is. He sure does hate fire, Jesus. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that's so useful. Okay, hold on, my phone vibrated for a sec. Um. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um. Sorry about that. Is Topo still alive? Nope. I guess it's just me and you, chat. Talking to people, sorry. It's okay. Rook, why did you pick up a ceramic jug? Why? You don't need that. Is it necessary for you to live? Wait, milk? Ooh. Okay, yes, flowers. over here. Bunnies. Mushrooms. So Faye, if you want a pawn of your own, I'd recommend you follow the road. What's this? Hold on, I'm collecting Great flowers. Thanks, oh Rook, you're in the way. Me. Why would you climb over the oh, god damn it? So welcome to Joey Picks Up Herb Simulator. the police. God damn it, you are just the shittiest little anarchist. Bo 
box eluded me for a sec. I'll take that. <laughs> you, you just found an empty flask, huh? Uh, those are actually very useful for getting oil. Because oil is your friend. Okay, I need to find another big tree that has these stupid flowers. Also, that little gray spot will be very useful later on. Little gray spot? With all the little spires out of it. What are you talking about? You, you, you were just looking at it. It's to your left. This? The thing on the ground? The yeah. Flag? No, no, to the right. I said right. That's left, Joey. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, this little beach Wait. area? No, 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 no. Turn around. All the way. See that little gray spot with the little thing sticking out of it? That rook is blocking with his body. Oh, this thing. Yes. I just thought it was a weird... I don't know... Horseshoe... Caught. Uh, no, this is actually very useful, but it's... For something later on. Uh, cause this game doesn't have fast travel, per se. Okay. Also, this game... Mm -hmm. You can tell I haven't been here because nothing is destroyed. <laughs> also, it's almost night. Your dicking around has actually paid off. No, I still need some of the day flowers. I do? Yeah. Thought you had more than enough. Oh, uh. So I need a big I think tree. you can find them closer to the beach, or yeah, under a big tree. Shit, I forget. I'm bad. I don't think there really is a big tree near the beach. He's just staring at that tree intently. Having fun there, buddy. He's just having the time of his life. Um. Hmm. He's. I think this man be broke. Okay. We'll leave him sure. to do that. Just let him enjoy that tree in peace. Sometimes a man's gotta really appreciate a tree, alright? Just a mighty piece of wood. There's nothing better than a, a good tree and a wiggle. This road will have us to the encampment air much longer. It's nothing quite like getting a gander at some good wood. Oh, that's a big tree. Aha! Big tree with a lot of flower. Okay, well you take care of that goblin. Shank the goblin, shank the goblin. Oh, Jesus! Good job, Rook. You did it. Uh, Rook took the hunk of ore. Oh. That's why if you see, like, that little, uh, color and a name above it, that means they took it. Oh, hey, the night flowers are starting to come out. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I just saw some, but... I think maybe it was just me glowing. Uh, I think the night flowers are actually closer to the beach. Yeah... Rook, stop nutting on stuff. Serves. Look, let Rook be Rook, okay? Just let him follow his heart, even though pawns don't have emotions. Pawns are basically empty shells pretending to be human. I thought we weren't playing near Armar. <laughs> Yet yeah, Topo got mad at me because I said I was playing his favorite game. And Mad is a really strong word. You took an issue with it. <laughs> Jokingly. And look, that man is still... Oh, he made a friend. Bye. That man just really appreciates him some good wood. 
Can't blame him. I want this rock. That eh. man's a real big fan of the book, Identifying Wood. Uh, don't you need to get the moon glow still? Oh, you need to see Bonita. I forgot the quest was weirdly segmented like that. Berries, delicious. Just shove them in your fucking gob. So what's your favorite kind of berry? Um... I guess blueberry, because I'm a basic bitch. I found a carrot. No, blackberry pie is fucking delicious. I don't think Rook's figured out yet that I'm dicking around and not actually doing the thing that he wants me to do. Yeah, yeah. And once you do it, he'll shut up. But that's because you'll, like, just be getting access to the, uh, pawn everything. Okay, so also, you'll be able to see my pawn. Yes, I know. That's... <sighs> Look. <sighs> Faye, I'm telling you now, you're just gonna have to take a step back and understand pawns don't know how to shut the fuck up. Uh, it's even worse in Dragon's Dogma Online, which is a little MMO they made later. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, even though it's only Japanese. Um, but, uh... In there, you can set how often your pawn talks. Uh, and let me tell you about the mistake of making your pawn talk constantly. Because uh, they mean constantly. This lady's having a problem. She's showing you her sweet dance moves. Unfortunately, she only knows the running man, and she even does that poorly. Yeah, now you gotta collect the moon glow. Okay. I might already have it, actually. Oh god, damn it! I keep pressing A instead of B. Okay, no, I don't. Yeah, you can only collect Moonglow at night if memory serves. I'm working on it. God, you're so bossy. That's because Rook's a fuck. I hope this is entertaining to watch. Man, I'm enjoying it, but I'm just glad you're having fun, really. Oh yeah, how do I get out my lantern? It told it told me in the tutorial. Uh, hit the back button. But I did that like two days ago, so um. Yeah, hit the back button. Uh, it should be under tools. Yes. And you just yeah, select it, and it'll give you the option. There we go. This will help. Uh, there are better lanterns you can get, but that's only in the post-game area. And I don't think I would be able to send one to you. Because uh, there is a way of trading items to other people, but that's a beast unto itself. I bet. Yep, I've definitely been here. <laughs> Look at all this destruction. You're looking for Moonglow, right? Uh, yes? Because I'm pretty sure that's on the beach. The beach, right. Life's a beach. Wait, this got fixed. How dare they? I mean, can we just give, like, Rook a gold star because he tried? He did. He tried his very best. He sucked at it, but he tried. Yes, I know, Rook. That's what I'm doing. Chill out. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of beach to explore, so I, I wouldn't worry too much. Unusual beach. Oh, gobble. <sighs> just waving at the darkness. Can you stop clipping through that chest? It's not okay. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, don't forget about Scarlet Kisses. Okay, fine. Actually, you're a little above half. Also, Rook ate complete shit. Yeah, why, why did you do that? Alright, you can run to him and go pick him up. Just, just touch him and just say, hey, get your shit together, Rook. Rook, god damn it! He's learning your lessons to do well. Stuck in an infinite combo with this goblin. Yeah. Rook, you did what it. did you so do? Eat shit. Well, that was pretty obvious. Troubling foe at all. They're goblins, dude. Nah. Get over here. So, a fun fact about this game is that it was actually made by a team who'd never made RPGs before. Really? Uh, yeah, if memory serves, it was a team who worked on Devil May Cry's 3 and 4. Oh, I've actually never played a Devil May Cry, it's not really my thing. Then that's fine. The, ser the series as a whole is fairly hit or miss. Well, let me stand in the healing light. Uh, him casting isn't what you want to stand in. Oh. Uh, it's just that that bit right there is the bit you want to stand in. Okay, there's still some more gobos to deal with. Uh, because that, that circle he has when casting uh, relates to another mechanic they never fucking tell you about. Okay. Uh, which is cooperative casting. Uh, which basically, if two people cast the spe same spell at the same time, uh, their casting is sped up. I'll take them. Go ahead, dude. Uh, also, you got threefold arrow, which is really nice. Ooh. Whoa! Hi, buddy! Which reminds me, one of the classes, the Ranger, their entire skill set is just using more arrows. Oh, hey, thanks, Rook. Got some Moon Glow. Oh, that's all I needed, apparently. Okay then, let's head back, I guess. What's this? Give me the stick. I am the worst person to play RPGs with because I pick up everything. What's that? You passed a chest. I passed a chest. Oh, thanks, buddy. You're a cool pal. Uh, yeah, pawns really like to loot, uh, but some assholes will teach their pawns specifically to battle loot and just be a general fucking klepto. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. I mean, and, like, I, what I, I do? No, you don't understand. Like, even in the middle of combat, they will go out of their way to loot, fucking you over. Oh, so it's less Skyrim and more Monster Hunter? We need seek yeah. Moonglow. We don't. I've got enough. It's fine, dude. Uh, well, Rook just knows about the part of the quest you're on. He doesn't know what you're doing. Like, what you have. He's doing his best. Because most quests resu like resolve their phase the second you do it. This path should see us there. Stock up on consumable items while you have the chance. 
Did you know that, Topo? It, it's it's shit. You're right. Yes, it Which does. reminds me, stocking up on consumables. Uh, in the original base game, before they did Dark Arisen, uh, there was a, a method of getting just infinite money, basically. Mm. Uh, which was hilarious. Because uh, perishable goods in this game actually do rot over time. Uh, so what you would do is you would buy a shitload of carrots from the vendor here. Uh, one of the vendors in this town. Uh, and then you just sleep at the inn for a day, and you just keep sleeping until the the uh, the carrots were sour, but not outright bad. Uh, and they would sell at a much higher price than you bought them for. Okay. Good. That's the both of them. In truth, I am surprised to see them got so quick. Uh, cause yeah, when when items are sour, that is when they are at their best for luck, consumption and for selling. Which I know sounds a little counterintuitive, but still. No, that's fair. Say this. Pray. Take Tell me more about your love of sour beef. Now to make I don't like beef. I mean, that's fine. I'm not a huge steak person, personally. Fucking love burgers, though. I love burgers. Location rank <laughs> increased. Uh, yeah, so you've got your, your character level and you've got vocation level, uh, yeah. and they are separate. Okay, let, let's have a look at this, um, status, I guess. Uh, the benefits of upping vocation level you won't find until you get to the, uh, the encampment they so badly want you to go to. Yeah. Offenses. Uh, Petty where is... <laughs> so, yeah, where is destruction of property? Okay. Oh, so I can choose different skills. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I don't have any yet, because I'm still... A baby. Still a baby. Uh, but yeah, see how it listed your height and weight? Yeah. Which I still don't know what unit they're in. Um, let's have a look. I'm assuming centimeters and kilograms. <laughs> yes. No, that can't be kilograms. 70 kilograms is a lot. Yeah, I'm aware it's a lot, but it's not really abundantly clear what the unit of measurement is for white weight. Although, yeah, 70 kilograms is... Yeah, about with this build. Yeah. I mean, I've got like two 10 kilogram weights over there, so yeah. I can see seven of those being a person. Well, yeah, 70 kilos is like 150 ish pounds. Yeah. So. Like I said, I like to make characters that look like they would do the job that they do. <laughs> so I didn't want to make a big buff lady because big buff ladies aren't very. Graceful. I mean, actually, they are, is the thing? Uh, where's the inn at? It's here. They can actually be quite flexible. Oh, your travel preparations How did I find you? Oh, no. Hmm? Well, granted, when I made my tiny pawn tank, she was also ripped as shit and missing an eye. Tired, Excellent. Rest a Let's stay till morning, and then set out in the morning. I'll... I I know. Because she, yeah, she had a scar over one of her eyes. And so I said it to just forever be closed. Who are you? There's talk of monsters. Yeah, why did this random ass guard walk into your room? I don't Nasty know. He likes to watch you when you sleep. I'm watching you. Fucking weirdo. Seems a fair place to rest. We just did, Rook. <laughs> also, check out the board. The board? Board, board, board. Oh. Uh, so these quests. are quests that. Yeah, these are uh, basically just things you'll do along the way, so it's just always a good idea to pick them all up unless they specify they're an escort. Okay. Uh, but these are just always useful just to have. 
You don't need to go out of your way to do them because you'll just complete them along the way. Okay. So there's a nice surprise when you get a random influx of gold or just a shitty sword covered in oil. This is actually a thing. I see. Let's see, is there anything else interesting we can do in this village? Now you could jump around on the rooftops if you wanted to. I can hear uh, but honestly, this at this time, I would just recommend you go to the encampment uh, and get your pawn. I found the cow. Those aren't cows. They look. They sound like cows. You sound like cows. No. Mm. It's unfortunate, actually. It's a real problem. I'm very self-conscious about it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! I can't believe I called you out on it. Fuck. Can't believe I was the bad guy all along. It's true. Can't believe you were the problematic one. So another Can thing. Can you though? <laughs> another thing I heard about this game is that you will generally be safe if you stick to the roads. Uh, yep. Uh, don't forget that you can click the left stick uh, to sprint. I know. I'm just appreciating the environment. I mean, look. Disgusting. I, I guess, but because I know this game like the back of my hand, I've seen this road a million times personally. There we go. But also, just the way they move when sprinting just feels really good for some reason. It looks really dumb. Exactly. Uh, though, also, your character needs to work on their fucking cardio. You will find ore, plants, and other materials at harvest points. I know. Also, the taller, uh, and I think heavier your character is, the faster your stamina drains when doing that. Okay. I mean, heavier I understand, but... Taller? Uh, it's, it's really weird the way they interact. I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head, honestly. It's been a long time since I looked at those. But yeah, this game has a lot of really weird, complex systems coming together. Thanks, Rook. You're a pal. Uh, the silencer arrow silences people. It is not, in fact, silent itself. Okay, these barrels have red stuff. Yep, okay. I'm glad I didn't melee attack those. What's with these indestructible crates? Shoot the, the barrel next to them. Oh. No, I'm just gonna brute force it until it falls apart. <laughs> See and now you can head inside of the encampment if you head in through one of the doors. Oh, big fucking wooden doors. Ooh, I got an empty flask. Hell yeah. You just picking flowers there, buddy? Got a problem with that? He can do whatever he wants. Hello. I know the way, Master. Follow me. Also, I'm not sure if I did mention this, but I have set the difficulty to easy because I'm I'm, I'm playing this game for fun. I honestly don't even remember what the difficulties do. Uh, I know hard will straight up get you better experience and health. Excuse me, experience and money rewards. Uh, though I think a lot of it's just the way it levels things. Yeah. The pawn. It was like if you... Yeah. It sounds like something from a Marvel movie. Greg, give this get out. Okay. Just get out. Get out of your own damn stream. Get out of my house. Seriously, why are you here? How did you get here? Sure, I'll prove my strength. And all, all proving your strength means is touching the thing. And also, it, a dumb little quest. That's easy. A 
Search the area. Okay. What am I looking for? A ridstone. You'll know it when you see it. Power emanates from within. Okay. He's just picking flowers again, god damn it. Please, he has a hobby. So let him have this. Bed. Make their beds there. I will respect these soldiers' possessions and not destroy them. So it's the soldiers you respect, but not the fishermen. Yep. The beast comes. Hurry. It's real oh. fucked up, man. You, you want to go out the way they did, probably, maybe. Um, that's this way, isn't it? No, it's the other gate. Oh. To oh. do something. And then he just turns me around. Okay. All ready for battle? Sure. Why not? Oh yeah, that's right. This class is the best at climbing. Like, you'll get a bunch of abilities uh, to help you climb. Hell yeah, look at this. Look at that sexy Cyclops. Gross. So, do you, do you want to know how you uh, climb? Not like that. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you grab. Mm -hmm. Though climbing controls can get a bit wonky. This man's got a mighty warm gooch. Um. Where am I? Yes. Oh, you were climbing the tain. Stop fucking around by the tain. Ow. I was like, I hope you, you enjoy Monster Gooch, because you're going to get a whole lot of it. Uh, luckily for you, everything seems to have already been sorted. But also stab the eye. I'm, I'm trying to climb up. I believe in you, Faye. Oh, threw me off. Oh, hey, pop. <laughs> so easily distracted. So generally climbing up the back is preferred. Yeah. Or the arm, sure. Uh, also, you can use Scarlet Kisses like this. Oh, can you? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you can. It's okay. Everything's fine. Ow. I need to... Not be dead, yeah. Perfect. Oh wait! Did he just teleport? Don't worry about it. Oh, I got him right in the eye too, look at that. So proud of you, Joey. I did it. You did it, you killed the thing. So don't worry about this man. Was a close break, that. Let us return to the encampment. What, but I want to look at the thing that I killed. Where did it go? Uh, turn around, all the way around. See that pile of bone? Oh, this one. 
Yeah, all, all the monsters melt. Delicious. Let's cook this motherfucker. Alas, there is no cooking mechanic. Oh, it's like the one thing I liked about Breath of the Wild. We've done as asked. Let us go and give word of it. Set out from here, and we'll be on the path to Grand Soren. Do, 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 do. Hey, I killed the thing. Shall we search the area? I did it. I did the thing. With that, I did the fire. thing. Do you want steak in related news? Just take out one of the beef steaks and just start rubbing it all over the ripstone. <laughs> you want some steak? I got some steak. I mean, just finally meet your pawn and just hand it a steak. But there you go, buddy. You know, that's what I'm gonna do. Like, the first thing I will give my pawn is a steak. It's the surest sign of friendship. Also, have fun. More character creation. Uh, that is okay, because... Whoops. I-I-I know. They-they they told you what to make. I heard. But what is her moniker? Um, let's see what... Eh. Uh, just so you know, there's some pretty good monikers in there if you look around, because this is a Capcom game. So, look under M quick. M. I see. Uh, keep going. Maximum. <laughs> Mega Man. Yeah, Mega Man. Milk, for some reason. Uh, let's see. Saber. <laughs> ah, Saber, finally, you two can be King Arthur, but a lady. Okay, let's call her Sami. Oh, you want to call her Samurai? Okay, now. Uh, so. Okay. Gotta pick a build to work off of. Yeah, we're making Samus here. So you're saying she's gotta be a fucking Amazon. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, she could it's do a good base. Not, She could do with not being an elf, but we can fix that. Oh no, what voice? Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you because I can't hear shit. It would make her sound like an anime. What does she Same sound like in Other like M? Anime. I've never played Other M, but... An adult woman? Probably in her late 20s? <laughs> yeah, that's, that should do. Likely white. Okay. Actually, no. Uh, ears. We don't want elf. Samus is not an elf. She's just a regular lady with regular lady ears. Actually, this is. The features bug me a little bit, but that's personal. I mean, the chin needs work. I think if you just change the face shape. It's the eyes that also bug me, and that they're not the right color, I don't think. Color of Samus's eyes. I think they're green. I don't know. Hmm. Is this acceptable? Do you think for the face shape? Mm, looks a bit off. Yeah. She she doesn't exactly have a powerful jaw. No. See the ones at the bottom. See all of these. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. See, that doesn't have a powerful jaw. That 
one looks okay. What do you think? I I'm, I'm looking for something quick. Oh no, that one's a bit better. Yeah, I think I'll go with that for the face shape. Just gonna DM you something quick. Okay. This is Samus according to Other M. Da, 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 da. Okay. So I haven't done too badly so far. But she needs bigger eyes. Ugh. Uh, also, I'm gonna pick an eye shape you like uh, and then hit X. Okay. I, I like that shape. That's a good shape. Oh! Also, you can give her heterochromia if you feel like making the OC OC. I think maybe... Well, the problem is I think her forehead's too big. Yeah, I think Samus has green eyes. I think. Yep. And her nose needs to be a bit less pronounced. No, she looks like a coke addict. Uh... The, the 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 lower number noses will probably be your best bet. Yeah, this one looks normal. See the lower numbers. Mhm. Mm See, they're really pointy, but I think that might just be the polygons. It's it's just uh, it's it's the game. I like this one, but the bridge is too... The bridge is too narrow. That's the best we can do. Mouth. Let's see. You can get some fucking weird-ass mouths. See, if that was smaller and less thick, that would be about the right it shape. Uh, would you no, it's just vertical position, position shit. Oh, that looks okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, should we go with that? Yeah. Okay. Edit body. Build. Buff as shit. Maybe not that buff. About that buff? Yeah, that's good. Okay, um, stature. Now, Samus is quite tall. How tall is she, anyway? Uh, six foot two without the suit. Oh, neat, okay. I think I like this uh, approximately 6-3 in most games approximately 5-9 in other M yep now this ponytail is a perfect Samus ponytail because she n I don't think we've ever seen her hair down have we 
No, no, it's been down in a bunch of games. Just mostly the older ones. Okay, what? I know she has blondie hair, but I know it's not quite as bright as this. Although saying that, she's a video game character, so this yellow actually works. Uh, you get other colors later, but you have to purchase them. I'm liking this actually, just like a very natural sort of straw blonde kind of color. Okay, but her hair is piss yellow. Oh yeah, her hair is this color in the games, but we're, yeah. go we're going to make it this color because it looks more natural. <laughs> All I'm saying is her hair is piss yellow, let's be real here. Okay, I think. See, having something in mind before we did it helped. We didn't spend three hours on creating Samus. Continue. Uh, so... Hmm... <laughs> Let me tell you about Pawn AI and how much crafting it sucks. Okay. Uh, you're gonna want Utilitarian as the big one. So I think that would be careful preparation. Okay. Well, you can see how things move. Hmm? Yeah, uh, people wanted to make her a fighter. Uh, that is not this. This is her Pawn AI. Okay. Fighter is a class. Uh, you want her to be utilitarian. So you see that utilitarian meter, you want that to go up as much as possible. Okay. Uh, so I think call for reinforcement nets the biggest gain for it. Uh... I think it's after them. Yeah, I think that's the... Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and she is yeah, it's not ideal, but whatever. Like, pawn AI isn't a huge deal just yet, but later on it becomes more important. Uh, think of a medicant, which is not a huge deal. It's not bad. Not good, but not bad. So anyway, this is Samus as decide as voted on by my patrons. Fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Also, you'll probably want to go back to the, uh... Die by your command. ...stone once they shut up. Yep, uh, basically all pawns swear fealty to the, uh, to the Arisen. Okay, so, talk to the rock again. Mm-hmm, and now you can summon folks. Uh, you could even see my pawn if you wanted to, which why would you? Uh, a good thing to do, uh, though it's not necessary yet, is swap out your, uh, Oh, hey, that's Your pawns every so often. C. Jacobs. Oh, Solaria, hey. Look at my tiny lady. She's tiny. But also her sweet ox mask. Uh, this is my ex-boyfriend's best friend. Ah, I see. Because, yes, I actually know how to dress my pawn. Like, they look like they're doing what they're doing. Uh, this is my buddy Nick. This is C. Jacobs. I don't know why she's wearing a dress and has a... Okay. A dress over a dress. Yeah. So, should I hire her, or...? Uh, I mean, if you want to. Uh, she's also very much over your level. Yeah, so let's not do that. But if you want, you can just take a quick look at her or something. I don't know. Yeah, let, let, let's have a look. 
Yes, Arisen. So here she is. Appearance rating. Uh, yeah, people can rate the appearance, battle rating, and helpfulness of your pawn. God, look at that strength. Uh, yeah, she's mighty. She could punch a hole in a wall if she wanted to, basically. Possession, 69%. Hey, hey, hey. Dang. Well, she has lots of knowledge about unfamiliar foes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Utilitarian and Challenger are the two best... Diego, you're a magic archer. Yep. 78 hours, huh? On that character alone. So yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and a nice thing is, even if your friends' pawns overlevel you, because they're on your friends list, you can summon them for free. Because uh, typically, if a pawn is a higher level than you, uh, they cost rift crystals to uh, summon. Okay. Uh, but if they're your friends, you can summon them for free. Nice. Uh, you do want a fourth pawn, though. Uh, you should, I should say you want a third pawn. Because uh, okay. you have a limit of three pawns, and it's always a good idea to have a full party. All right. So which one should we hire? Should we just hire yours? Um, I guess if you want her to fuck everything up. Yeah, she will fuck everything up. Um... It's not a huge deal. Uh, she'll just make a lot of stuff early on trivial. Uh, I would recommend maybe um, another caster. Okay, let's see. Are there any casters here? But even that's not completely necessary. Uh, this one's just called nothing... Buff. <laughs> he is a warrior and he uses big weapons. Are you a, are you a caster? She's a mage, level 27. Mm hmm. Okay. See, I want something closer to my level. Uh, also, that knowledge thing is very important. Because your pawns can learn how to fight certain enemies. Wait, I may only hire two pawns onto my party at any one time. Uh, yeah, your main pawn isn't hired. Oh. She's just there. Mm-hmm. She is your own personal pawn. Hiring pawns mean, means taking on other people's pawns. I love this because I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah. Uh, another thing you can do is you can just send away the pawns here if you want, so you can have uh, other ones come in. Send away the great Phantasmo. Fuck him. Uh, also, if you go to the stone, you can just do straight-up searches. Oh, hey, there's one that Carnival did. Oh, hey, yeah, it is Carnival shit. Yes, it is. Level I, uh... 16. Yeah, it's close to your level. I, yes, I'd argue that's probably good. Okay, let's... It's a man who looks like beef jerky. She's a lady. It's a lady who looks like beef jerky. Okay. Hello. Hi, Samus. Okay. Ah. ah! A master and his boy. You'll be quite the force. Mind you, that is a skill better. I can help in that regard. I guess we're doing this now. Yep. Who's this goblin and why does he care so much about us? Uh, you'll find out. Okay. The man of the enlistment corps. 
never turn away the evil. Sure, let's, let's me be clear do some training. From the outset. You'll complete Hell yeah. forms of training. Each serves to hone a different quality. He says he's a harsh master, but he never does anything to fuck up. You might reconsider. There are other forms here. The first task is carrying freight. You're free to choose your company, but the many hands will begin as soon as I guess I'm ready. Is to haul all of the freight. Okay, where's the... Everything's fine. Noom! Look at her go! Do it. Well done. Oh, there no, you did it. A large room will be of help again. A company all doing the same thing is less effect. We'll begin as soon as you're you'll set about destroying scale. Do not just attack blindly. What are you doing? Oh. Well done. Meet okay then. With that right then. Finally, you'll be there. there are two sorts of scare. One falls only to steal and brute. If you're not mindful of how you attack them, vary your party and your So this is basically telling you don't just rely on fires. Mm-hmm. So it's just teaching you about party composition. Yep. Because stacking a specific class is... Not gonna fuck you over completely, but it's definitely not ideal. Okay, I think that's all of them. Especially because it's always good to have varied damage types on your yeah. game. We did it. That's the fastest I've ever seen. Also, there's a guy out in front of the uh, the stone that I would recommend you talk to as well. Well done. You've completed I completed my training, Topo. Damn, that's some real intense training. I don't know how you made it. From actual combat. Like it has told me this several times, so it really wants to emphasize that, like, yeah. Diversify. Mm hmm. God, everyone around you is giant. Look how tall uh, Samus is. I mean, they're all tall. I mean, that's how tall my character was when I was playing through as the, the magic archer. Okay, let's leave. And then go talk to that dude, and then I think that's a good place to stop, don't you think? Yeah. I feel familiar with this area now. Thanks. Oh uh, yeah, because once again, pawns can learn, and that's actually a very important thing, because that means their AI can get really fucking good. Uh, if you let it. Yeah, especially if you like keep one with you at all times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, to this it's man? the thing is, yeah, the thing is, pawns doing a thing can influence other pawns, teaching them how to do it. Uh, and if they if they learn certain strategies, they are much more likely to do them in combat. Uh, the problem is getting the third rank uh, of knowledge for for a given uh, enemy is always a really weird obtuse pain in the ass. Nice. I want that. <laughs> 
In fact, I can afford all of these, so I might as well. Because you need to do some dumb bullshit to actually get uh, stuff. A shame you're poor. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can also equip Samus's abilities here too. Oh right. Uh, though, because she's a fighter, I'm gonna give you a really weird piece of uh, advice. Okay. Do not equip any shield skills on her. Okay. I I know it sounds really stupid and unintuitive, but just trust me. Like not at all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I trust you. Because pawns have very good timing and they can perfect block because there is block timing and perfect block will straight up do no damage. Like, uh, they'll do no damage. Uh, and they can perfect block, but if they are, if they have shield skills, they are not inclined to perfect block. Okay. And so we'll just keep trying to use those skills. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend, don't talk to that lady. I would recommend you just probably, if we're going to call it, save here. Okay. There you go, I saved it. So proud of you, Faye. Yeah. Strange power and you could do it. We did it. Well, look, step out into the sunlight. Look at look at my lady. Rook, get out of the way. Thank you. So th this is, like, legit really fun. Mm-hmm. Just um, wait till the fashion options open up. I do love, I do love me some fashion. Oh, there's a lot of fashion. Um, like, Topo, I play Monster Hunter. I love me some battle fashion. Same. Yeah, how excited are you about the Monster Hunter world beta? Incredibly. God, it's so soon, too. I know. I am I would be excited if I owned a PS4. Uh, also, another thing I, I forgot to t tell you, uh, with both pants and shirts, there are two different equip slots. There's the undershirt and overshirt, so if you ever wanted to, you could actually put something to cover the scar window or you can just leave the scar window I mean the scar window makes me look badass <laughs> I mean look at look at this I look awesome except for those pants those pants are real bad yeah should we get some can we get some new pants here uh I think you can uh there might be a vendor here who sells something well let's attempt to get some new pants I will um, be back in just a second okay while I search for a vendor to find us some new pants. Let's see, what are you? Okay. Hello. Yes, Arisen. Um Don't talk to the lady. Right. Hello. Yes, it isn't. Who made this tiny child? Times are hard indeed. Uh, so the merchant would probably be by one of the gates. Okay. Uh, cause you'll know traveling merchants when you see them, because they have a very obvious look to them. Oh, like the ones in, again, Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Okay, what are you? If you're looking to join, talk to the captain. Cause they would have, like, large backpacks on. Ever a pleasure. Okay, you look yeah, like him. a merchant. I feel as if I'm called Reynard, the traveling. Now, let us talk of business. Okay, let's have a look. Need some good pants. Uh, also, he could sell you new weapons. I don't know if the ones he has are better than what you have. Well, these ones are four twenty gold. And then that's just a fucking sign. Clearly need these. But also, you need boots. Yes. I no get get the leather bandings, but also boots. Like, he has these expensive yellow gaiters. Uh, um, so, like, under stuff is actually not that important in 
Vergrees, yes. Complete the look. Get a cloak. Mm-hmm. You can do that. Uh, let's have a look at the weapons. Um, throat cutters. Throat cutters would be better than your daggers, yep. Yeah. Uh, short bow is what we already have. Uh, no, it's better than what you got. Wait, is it? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm stupid. I mean, you're not... But go ahead and keep telling yourself that. Um, oh, so you get a stupid leather cap. Could get a stupid leather cap. Just look at that. Man, that looks stupid. I mean, it actually adds to our defense, so... I know, but there's a better one you could have on hand, actually. Which is that circlet. Or the tiara, whatever it is. Oh, right. Equip. So, I would almost say hold on to the rusted bow and daggers. Okay. Because they are very useful for a specific reason that is very later on. Hell yeah. Just dressed for the occasion. Okay, now the head now the helmet just looks the the hat looks really out of place compared to the rest of her gear. I look badass. Except for the hat. No. Let us talk about Look at this. That that is like a flight attendant's cap. Look at that hat. That's a great hat. Uh once again, if you go to that dude uh earlier. The dude? Uh yeah, the one who you could buy vocation stuff from. Oh yeah. Uh, I think he can allow you to access your uh, your bank. I think he does. Whoop! Wrong button. We can safeguard your belongings. Have your pick. Uh, your yes, manage stored items. Uh, uh, enlightenment. Is that the one? The tiara of enlightenment. Yeah, is probably what you want. What will it be to have your pick? Come again soon. Okay, let's step into the light. Whoops. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, you can you can access equip from the start menu. Oh. There, that looks a lot better. Yeah, told you. We no longer have a stupid hat. <laughs> Okay, let's save all that fashion progress we made. <laughs> we did a, we did very important work there, Topo. The most important thing of the night. Uh, don't forget that you can also uh, equip Samus' stuff as well. But that's for another night. Yeah, that's for another night. We'll equip Samus probably off-stream, to be honest, because you don't want to see us do inventory accounting. I mean, I enjoy that stuff, but that's because I'm garbage. Yeah, see, that's the one thing about RPGs that I don't like. It's the pants accounting. <laughs> I like to call it. Anyway. And this has a lot of inventory management. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. Like a I'm lot glad you enjoyed fun. it. Um, yeah, without realizing it, I've been going for almost two hours, and my streams generally don't go more than an hour and a half, so... <laughs> um, I will figure out when we're doing this next time but in the meantime bye bye everyone bye stream